This week, Homeland Security agents swarmed Diddy's homes on Star Island in Miami Beach, as well as in Los Angeles. This all comes after a lawsuit filed by one of the music mogul's producers last month, accusing Diddy of running a criminal enterprise that involves sex trafficking and distributing drugs, as well as firearms. And a day after the raids, Diddy sold all of his shares of Revolt TV. At least 18 companies have distanced themselves from him recently, uh, from his recently launched e-commerce website as well. And that is significant. Also, the school that he co-founded cut ties with him back in November. Finances aren't the major concern here. The major concern and question now is will the music mobile be arrested at some points? Here to help us answer that question and many more about this investigation is a civil trial lawyer who is known for representing victims in similar cases, most namely here the Jeffrey Epstein case. We have Spencer Coven. Spencer, good of you to be with us this morning. We do appreciate it. So answer that. Everybody wants to know is, is uh, Diddy going to be arrested? Well, uh, you know, I'm not inside the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office, obviously, so I can't speak to what their investigation is going to find. But I can tell your viewers that there is a very strong act. It was passed in uh, 2000 by the Clinton administration called the Trafficking Victims Protection Act. That particular federal act states that any victims of sex trafficking from any country in the world um, are protected under that act. And that act provides for criminal prosecution, but also civil penalties. And what's also important to understand is there are civil penalties, not just for the trafficker, but for anyone who benefits from the trafficking. That means that not only P. Diddy could be at risk here financially and criminally, but all of the corporations that were assisting or providing any financial support to him could be at financial risk. Oh, wow. Wow. So these accusations are very serious here. So what's the next step? We saw these raids on his two homes. Uh, what comes next here? What are investigators looking for? Kind of where does the investigation go? So much like the Jeffrey Epstein prosecution, they seized evidence at these homes. And what they're doing now is they're going to be combing through that evidence meticulously. Primarily, it's going to probably be computer evidence. And they're going through that information to determine what's there and whether or not there's evidence of a crime. In addition to that, you notice that they also arrested one of the people that are in his inner circle. I have no doubt that right now prosecutors are probably going to be negotiating with that gentleman's lawyer to discuss potentially turning state's evidence against P. Diddy in order for a lighter sentence on his drug charges. Yeah, that would almost make sense, certainly, in terms of prosecution. Um, there's been a long laundry list here. You see everything that's been everything that Diddy's been accused of over the past, so I would say, decade. There are five lawsuits against him that accuse sexual assault or rape in the past. This doesn't um, tell a very nice tale about this person. Does that go against him, even though he's not been convicted of any of this? Yeah, I mean, public interest and public stories about individuals make it much more difficult, both for the defense and the prosecution, to find a fair trial for the criminal defendant if he's charged at some point. Um, obviously, P. Diddy's lawyers, if he's charged, are going to argue that the press and the media have made it impossible for him to be tried in a fair court of law. But at the end of the day, everyone who is prosecuted is going to have to face justice and it's not gonna matter what the press or the public say right. or think, it's gonna be the evidence in the case. Yeah, that's a big question. Yeah. How can you try him fairly? Exactly, exactly. One, I gotta let you, one more question, we gotta let you go. Spencer, has any of the victims, potential victims contacted you? Have you been in contact with them? Um, I can't discuss can't any discuss attorney that. Right. privilege information, but I can tell you that I have regularly represented victims of sex trafficking throughout the United States. And it is something that is very serious. And Florida is number three mm -hmm. in the entire United States for sex trafficking. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, Spencer Coven, with a lot of interesting insight into what's next here for Diddy.